Hey guys, welcome to Cricket Fanatics Magazine. This is your daily show. I'm your host, Khalid Moedin. It's the show where we talk about all the major talking points in South African cricket. Today we will be talking about the new contracted players. There will be there's the contract players have been released for the Proteus and the Proteus women as well. So the momentum Proteus and the Proteus. So we're gonna be chatting about that. Um, who you maybe think should have been should, should have gotten a contract and who didn't. And um and congratulate someone that got a contract that really deserved it, and that's Laura Goodall and Heinrich Klassen, both maiden contracts for the both of them. So before we get started and start chatting about that, don't forget to, of course, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell for all future videos. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the results in the country as well. It's been a very low-scoring um, four-day day one for the final round of the round robin fixtures. I mean, not a lot of guys have really performed in this particular round with a bat other than Peter Malan, who's not out on half century, after half century. Teams were bowled out for very low scores throughout the, the tournament for this particular round. Um, I'm just going to read you some of the scores, of course. Um, we had the Titans versus the Lions. I was surprised that the Lions actually were pulled out for 206. Uh, excellent bowling performance once again from Lazard Williams, taking three for 54. I really like this guy. I really like the way he plays. I like his aggression. I like his attitude. Perfect move for him to move from the Cobras and go to the Titans. And he was excellent once again, leading the attack for his side. Then in the Cobras game, the Cobras bowled the, uh, the Knights out cheaply as well. Um, was one of those situations where you hoped that you'll see a massive score from certain players, i.e. Reynard van Tonde for me. He went out on 47. I was very, very sad about that because I was watching him actually bat at Newlands for the first time and I really wanted him to get a big score and unfortunately he went out. The Knights were actually out for 181. So pity for Reynard because he just saw all of his batsmen fall around him. So hopefully in the second innings, he'll be able to put on a better performance. Um, the Cobras ended the day on 84 for one. And um, we have Peter Malan and Zubair Hamza back in action after he was injured. Then we had the Dolphins and the Warriors. That was even worse. So the lowest score or total of the day, the Warriors were all out 524. Um, Ethan Bosch was excellent again with the ball. He took three for 18. And the Dolphins' reply was a little bit shaky, but they ended the day on 67 for two with Mutasami in at the moment um, doing the things for the Dolphins with a bat, um, showing that he has the capabilities to do that too. Um, he's on 34, not out. And Marcus Ackerman back into this, obviously into this squad and into this lineup performing. Um, he's obviously at the crease with a guy like Serran Mutasami, which we want to see. Dex, I see you asking what happened to um, why not? Oh, no, let's not get to that yet. We're going to talk about that and who you'd like to see. Let's go into the contracts. But remember, guys, subscribe, click that notification bell for all future videos. Don't forget to do that, please. Don't forget to also like, comment, share, subscribe. As per usual, the Super Chat is on for you guys to get involved with the Super Chat. It really supports me. It really helps me by you guys doing that. So please get involved over there to really help us. I see Bad Panda saying good work with the George Van Heerden article. That was thanks to Mark um, Mark Jakobsen doing excellently over there. Thanks for that article. Go ahead and go to cricketfinancemag.com to read that. Um, did I go to Newlands? Yes, I did go to Newlands. I was at the ground today. So I was really watching that particular game, um, seeing some good context. There was a particular catch I must talk about. And I don't think I'm fanboying about it, um, Verena, but there was a catch that Verena took today. <laughs> I just looked at it and I was like, wow. Um, unbelievable catch. Low down, right by his knee. He just took it so cleanly and so easily with no like with no issues at all. Very good to see Zubair. And and Peter Malan put on put on some of the runs, building a nice partnership. Hopefully, they will do that. There are other games as well that we want to talk about. Uh, something like this in the comment section. Um, it's under nineteen. We'll build that for forty five or forty one, whatever it was. Very shocked by that, but not shocked by that because it's a massive step up. Um, and all of those things. 
are you saying how because okay, i'll get to that question next but yeah it was a um, not a very good performance by the sn19 it's a massive step up it's a very good decision though for them to put the sn19 to play against obviously now they have to play against men so it's a massive lesson learning curve for them uh hopefully i'll be able to get some insight into that very soon after the game is done how I thought the grounds are closed because we got accreditation and media is allowed to go. So um, I have accreditation as a journalist, so I get into the grounds and that's how I got to watch the game. Happy for the cock back in the field of the long break. Very true. Hardy is the president of the Kyan <laughs> Calvert in the fan club. No, I'm not. I just think that the guy deserves an opportunity because he's putting the performances at domestic level. So why not um, praise the guys when they're performing well? So let's get back into the contracts. I'm going to put the contracts on the screen for you right now. So we start with the men's contract. Sorry, that's the wrong slide. Tim Bavuma, White Bull captain. Quentin de Kock, Dean Algar, um, Bjorn Hendricks, Riza Hendricks, Heinrich Klaassen, Keshav Maharaj, Aidan Markram, David Miller, Lungi Ngidi, Anik Nokia, Antile Pechlokwayo, Dwayne Pretorius, Kajiso Rabada, Tabrayu Shamsi, and Rassi van der Dissen. Now, Heinrich Klaassen is obviously the maiden call-up for him. Very good to see that. I am, however, there are some guys that have not been selected. Maybe you can look at a guy like Yanaman Malan, Bjorn Vertain, Karl Reiner, um, I don't see George Linder here either. Did I miss that or did I see that? Um, so that's maybe another guy that maybe deserved an opportunity to be um, contracted. Um, so interesting decisions over there. Um, they have decided um, to leave open, as per usual, a 17th spot for a player that has performed. So they're going to be um, given a contract to a player that has performed a 17th contract, maybe Vian Mulder will get that because I mean, Vian Mulder is not on this list. Um, Vian Mulder also, I feel, is someone that deserves an opportunity and that deserves a, a, a chance to get a contract. Ravi saying, interesting. I love Riza, but thought he would have lost his spot to Yanaman. And some people may have thought that. Um, your favorite team. VP Borland. I wouldn't say my favorite team. I don't really have a favorite team necessarily because I'm trying to be impartial. Um, but because I'm from Western Province and from Borland, I'll obviously support the town that I'm from, like anybody else would do. So um, obviously, because I've come from here, I was born here. Um, obviously, I'm going to support the, town, the, the the teams from Cape Town or from Borland. So those are that's those things over there so let's get into the women's team we've got Tane Fenike, Trisha Chetty, Nadine de Klerk, Mignon Dupree, Laura Goodall, Shibnam Ishmael, Shanalo Jafta, Marazan Kap, Ayabonga Kaka, Masabata Klaas, we've got Lizal Lee, Sune Lewis, Tumisi Kakune, Chloe Tryon, Laura Wolfart and of course um, Laura Goodall has gotten a new contract. So that's the one that is the new contract. They've apped the contracts now. They've got an extra contract now. It used to be 14, now 15. So very good to see that there's an extra spot now available for the women's contracts because it gives more opportunities now for women to get contracted. A very good squad. Very good contracted teams. We'll see who else is going to go there. Um, Ravi saying no Magala and no Magala who... I can understand why Magala's not there at the moment because obviously he was he never played for South Africa yet, so it's difficult to give him a contra, full contract if he hasn't played for South Africa yet. So um, this is not the squads to play against um, Pakistan, for example. They might be as they obviously have these are guys that they feel deserve contracts for the whole season. Some people may debate why David Miller gets a contract because he doesn't play all formats the same with Andy Klassen, but you do give guys that you think that are going to play in all formats for the entire season, you give them contracts. Um, why not George Linder and Vian Milder? Maybe they're one of the guys that will get that 17th contract that they're obviously opening up um, for for guys. I wouldn't say Magala for Pichlikwayo, actually, as you say in here in the comments, because, I mean, Pichlikwayo deserves his, uh, his spot in the side. Um, this is obviously just the, the contracted um, players. That being said, I think Magala definitely deserves to go 
whenever the next series is. Yes, I, I deserve. I think he deserves a go, sorry, for whenever the series is. Of course, um, I think the next the next series is Pakistan here in April, and hopefully he'll get an opportunity over there because. I mean, he's the best bowl, death bowler in the country currently, I feel. And um, especially in the domestic, particularly in the domestic circuit. So it will be really nice to see him play. David Mudder plays ODI and T20. Yes, and that is why he deserves a contract. I'm not saying that he he doesn't. I'm just saying that some people may question those type of things because he doesn't play test cricket. But um, I think he deserves a contract. Obviously, he's one of the mainstays. Why central contract for Antile? Because Antile has deserved it. Um, he was our best player in the World Cup. Uh, one of our best players in the World Cup, even though we lost horribly in the World Cup and got kicked out. He was one of our best players there. He showed what he's able to do. He's a consistent wicket taker for the Proteus in T20 cricket, particularly and in ODI cricket. So I think that it's a good thing for him to obviously get a contract. He's always been contracted, so he keeps his contract. Same with Riza. He does not play test matches. Yes, that's true. Um, they will contract certain players based on that. It won't only be players that play all three formats that get contracted necessarily. So the same with Riza. Um, I was not saying that that's how I would do it. I'm saying that some people may question. I've heard some questions about it on social media asking about why are players getting contracted that only play one format or two formats. So you can't think of it like that because it's who plays the most games for the country overall, I feel. Um, so same with Dean Algar, for example, getting a national contract. He's, a test, he's only in the test side. Um, so sex criticism for Pechelkwai is on the unfair side. One of the best wouldn't say the best death bowler. I wouldn't say the best, but Magali is one of the best death bowlers going around. I'm talking about domestic cricket. Um, I would say he's the best death bowler in domestic cricket, have I? Um, you've seen many scorecards. I don't know how many games of you you've seen in the domestic system, but I was talking about the domestic system. I don't know how many times you've seen him actually bowl live, but if you look at the way Magala bowls, you'll see why I say he's the best death bowler in, in domestic cricket. Um, but he also leaks tons of runs. Um, yeah, sometimes, sometimes he doesn't. Uh, depends in what format you're talking about in a domestic system. Few fifteen, fewer fifteen contact players, only single format. Yeah, um, that is true, and that is how it is. I thought Yanaman would get it over Riza because Yanaman has been in a T20 and ODI team, but Riza hasn't, and that's what I thought too. I thought Yanaman is one of the guys, um, uh, one of the guys that should be one of the mainstays particularly in odi cricket opening the batting maybe moving ten by to three that's what a lot of you guys have asked for call it help out a disadvantaged american and show me some highlight reels i don't need to show you a highlight reels you need to see him bowl you can't just see the highlights because you need to see him bowl those dot balls are not going to be shown in the highlights reels and his ability to be able to get dot balls with a yorker you i don't know if you saw them as super league or watch him Bowling is I think those are obviously on um, on YouTube, etc. So you can go watch that there. I don't know why Bjorn Hendricks and Riz Hendricks, why not Jana Manuelan, Vian Mulder, and George Linder? Wow. I can't answer that for you. We're going to have to ask the convenience of selectors. But remember also the transformation targets and all of those type of things as well. Um, you need to get a certain amount of contract players probably that are of color as well. But not only that, um, Puran Hendrix, Riza Hendrix being good for the Lions this season as well um, especially in the T20 format nothing is here but if you didn't watch as much as of, I could I know you want to watch you'll be able to, if you were able to watch you'd watch a lot more by I do understand that um, I'm not saying that you wouldn't um, yeah you can see how we, how we bowls over there but I mean I did a whole master class not a master class I wouldn't say really a master class but with when the Chris, when the club Cape Town Blitz were playing, I did an interview where he spoke about his York, um, the York abilities in death bowling and why he's concerned um, and how he approaches it and giving some tips to the youngsters. And I really took a lot of learnings from that. When ESO will announce this squad, for, I have no clue. I'm, I'm thinking probably on Friday after this, the day after the four days done. I think probably then. I'm, I'm assuming. There is a press conference tomorrow with the board, I think. So we'll have to wait and see for that. Pure and index, to be fair, 
offer something different with his left arm angle. Yes, he does. He's also been working on his death bowling. Um, is Yanaman now a regular player for the Protoss in white ball formats? We don't know um, if he is necessarily a regular in white ball formats. Um, I still think that they're looking at Temba and Quinton as the opening pair in, in both ODI and T20s. Even though I'd really like Yanaman to bat, open the batting with Quinton the Cock, we've obviously seen him do so for the Cape Templates and how dangerous they've been over there. No. Um, Klaassen didn't get a 2019 contract and Yanaman didn't either. They didn't get contracts. Um, so contracts are different to actually the squad itself. So they obviously only avoid, um, give contracts to people that they feel are deserve it um, currently and they've chosen the names that they've chosen. So we have to just respect that and, and move forward from that. Um, Dex, to some extent, um, will crowds allowed to the second ODI, which is Pink ODI. We're not sure yet about the crowds yet. There's no crowds for domestic games currently. Um, only the media are allowed to go. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be open crowds for the Pakistan scene in April, if South Africa will be ready for that quite yet. Yanaman, better than Riza, in my opinion. Higher cap capability, capability, ceiling, and talented youngsters. I agree. I agree that you should be giving the youngsters the opportunities and giving them contracts. Especially if you think of they're going to be the next generation for the future. So, unfortunately, he wasn't selected. Um, and I would like to see him selected. I would have liked to see him selected. Perhaps that 17th contract goes to Yanaman, uh, George, Yanaman, Bjorn Vertain, one of those guys, Calvarena, all of those guys. Happy for Klaassen. I think we all are. Contracts signify that players will be in and around the team for the next year that's about it doesn't imply that they aren't looking outside of those yeah nominees at all yes that is true so guys thanks a lot for tuning in thanks a lot for joining this daily show the daily shows are generally supposed to only be 20 minutes tops guys i've been spoiling you guys with our streams lately um i have to do it a little bit shorter because I'm going to kill myself if I'm going to be doing our streams every single night, plus all the other work that we need to do as well, and the amount of editing and on written pieces and the magazine that should come out every single month. So I need a little bit of a, a leeway here, guys. So please don't be upset with me that I'm only giving you 20 minutes. The daily shows are generally supposed to be a little shorter so that people can go back and watch it and get more views, etc., and more likes, etc. So please, guys, get to smashing that like button, comment, share, subscribe the notification bell for all future videos go down to the magazine subscribe to the magazine it's free go to clickerfanaticsmag.com for our updates please also support us on the patreon become a patreon today link is on the screen and in the description it really helps us produce better content it will help us improve it will help us grow and you grow and the community grow as well i want you guys to create a fandom around cricket fanatics magazine you must become part of this family i want all of you guys part of the family if you guys have a small business you're looking to make sales online even if the even if your business is offline, we can help you do so. Um, and go ahead and do that. Um, you can get in contact with us. We'll help you get more sales. We'll help you get uh, more business online. We'll help you make get more customers and all of those things. And obviously, we will um, also automate that process for you. So get in, get in contact with us. We'll find something that works for you perfectly. Thanks a lot um for tuning in and we'll see you guys again tomorrow with the daily show take care everyone and have a great evening